Today on Decoding Palantir, we're diving into the topic of interoperability. I often see people on social media platforms talking about Palantir as a black box. I laugh because it's essentially the complete opposite. It's an unwalled garden of any data, any compute, any model, anywhere. So if we take a moment to discuss what I hear to, when I talk to enterprises about interoperability, normally I hear questions about how systems communicate with each other, what, how this one tool connects to another tool. Then you bring additional software in for logic and optimization, then you stitch them together, right? You can kind of see how that goes. Each of these components have different security models, data models, action components, scalability profiles. It gets pretty complex. And then you get into the developer tool side, right? That's normally a religious debate inside of most of these companies. All of this friction is slowing you down from time to value. It's really about orchestrating the data, the logic, the actions of your business to drive informed decisions. That's the real end goal. Palantir's platforms are engineered to be the fabric connecting your systems, operations, and people. So today I picked three kind of normal topics I discuss with customers around interoperability. So first up, data integration. So we can connect to most any system you can think of. We have 150 out of the box connectors. We can even extend it through an SDK if we need more any data type. It can be unstructured data like pictures, videos, PDFs, then harmonized with structured data from ERPs and other streams from sensors out in the field, right? So we interoperate with any of these different source systems. Conversely, if you've already done some of this integration work, we can connect to where it is through things like in your cloud data warehouse, you can use virtual tables. If you've got data sitting in a blob store, you can use virtual media sets. But really the idea here is to not need to replicate it. The goal is to operationalize your data as quickly and efficiently as possible without up driving up compute hours and storage costs, right? So next we generally talk then about the ontology. So when we create the ontology of your business, it's not just about the data. It's also about the relationship between the data points. It's about the logic that needed to run your business modeled in the ontology and the actions to make decisions real. So this is the who, the what, the when, the how of your enterprise operations, effectively creating a digital twin of your business process, right? So that's great, but how does that play into interoperability? So once you have the ontology, you can build everything upon it. It acts as the semantic business SDK, a custom SDK of your business in the language of your business. Essentially, the ontology is accessible through APIs or even better yet, through the ontology SDK. You can leverage the OSDK to create AI powered applications, mobile apps, edge applications, backend integrations. But honestly, the coolest applications I see is when customers are using OSDK to bring AI into their legacy application. This truly revolutionizing their business operations. One last area I'll cover today is technical interoperability, specifically in the Gen AI space. Often you need multiple LMs in a single workflow. Each have different performance, cost, accuracy profiles, right? In AIP, you can use all of these models that we provide either in the secure model catalog from all the top model providers, bring your own endpoint or your own model, fine tune it, grab an open source one and host it in the platform. All of these are options all together. The idea is to use the right LLM for your business and your use case. The same goes for classical ML as well. Build within the platform or within your own ecosystem. Bring the model into the platform or connect an external model endpoint you've purchased. We have hosted JupyterLab notebooks, VS Code environments that let you have a familiar experience inside the platform, or you can work locally in your favorite IDE. The goal is to provide you with the tools that you need to work within your business landscape to accelerate your time to value. When you work with a company like Palantir, who's driving outcomes, not consumption, interoperability is key because it increases the speed to value for our customers. We understand that you have complex existing ecosystems, but this is what we were built for, breaking down systemic silos through rich interoperability in AIP.